It's okay. Must have had a hell of a nightmare. Okay. Sir, yes, sir. What is up, everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's yours truly, the Trigger Trey. If you're new here, you can call me Trey or T3 for short. Uh, I'm playing some more at the casting of Frank Stone. This is chapter two. So, uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, so it's like we're playing as a new character called uh, Madison. Uh, let's search the room. Okay, there's that picture. Let's take a look. They both looking kind of cute, not gonna lie. Oh, mom can get this business. Put that down. Can I go through this door? No. No jump scares. Why did I walk to the window? Okay. Let's go through. What the fuck? And of course, we're gonna walk towards her. Open the door. None of this is right. What the heck? Then we just walk out this room. Oh, the picture looks like somebody scratched over it. Uh, anything else in here? Uh, doesn't look like it. I don't see nothing highlighted but the door handle. Yo, how, how much longer are we gonna do this? Oh, hell no. Nah. What the? This is giving me Max Payne vibes. The little dream sequences. Okay, that was scary. Okay, this is getting really annoying. Let's look at the picture again. It's like it's been scratched a little bit more this time. It's like the only thing highlighted once again is this door. Oh, this is just awesome. What could possibly go wrong out here? That didn't sound good. Look how the ground's lighting up as she's walking. Uh, I hear someone talking. Guess we're going this way. Uh, fit right through here. Oh, I hold X. I keep forgetting. Sorry about that if you heard some volume. Uh, it wasn't somebody talking, it was my TV in the background. I don't know if uh, y'all heard that or not, but I could. So I had to get up and turn it off real quick. Uh, let's go to this TV. Uh, turn on. Oh, uh, turn the cell phone. That is not good. Mom? What's wrong? Her voice kind of sounds demonic. I'm here. Everything's all right. Incoming jump scare a bit. Whoa! Hell no! Whoa! See, if I didn't know that was coming, it probably would have got me, but... <laughs> okay, it was a little dream sequence. Just chilling on the plane. We should be good here. 
Get a grip. Take a sip of my drink while this cutscene is playing. pictures anthology with the curator with the music playing nobody knows. Nobody that is one narrow ass road you can do this maddie just stay on the right side of the road I there is only the one side of the road Okay, we got a little note here. Oh, a hitchhiker. Is that a hitchhiker? Uh, looks like it. Or she just broke down. Uh, I'm probably gonna regret this, but I'm gonna stop for. Her. I've seen the hitcher too many times, so I don't really trust hitchhikers, but something tells me just not to leave her alone out here. You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. Yeah, so do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. Hop on in. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. Mm, same it's place. It's not out of your way. Uh, guess not. Fate change. You chose to pick up the hitchhiker. Okay. Oh, I got a nice little trophy. <clears throat> so we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? Looks that way. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Yeah, where are you from, lady? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's mm. cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard mm, it was really two nice. Two moms, I see. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Mm, Even fate if changed I was worried, again. you might try to clonk me. <laughs> uh, clonk. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna say curious. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> hmm. Had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. 
Okay, so nothing creepy happened so far. Hey, take a look. Hmm, the manor, I assume. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. In the House of Darkness, Chapter 2. Hopefully this ain't a murder house like uh, that last Dark Pictures game. Damn mansion with the walls that kept shape-shifting. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Yeah, that's normally how you go to a place of residence. You just knock or ring the doorbell. <laughs> Maybe nobody's home. Well, this is definitely when I was I mean, told to get here. You didn't give him time to come to the door. Me too. Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. So we're just gonna walk right in? No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Yeah, we're Do just gonna we just walk right in. Go in. Why are you asking me? Cause you're a grown up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then uh, here we go. Apparently. And we are inside the creepy manor. Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Weren't the lights on on the outside? Hello? Let's take a look around. Okay, I guess we're gonna do some exploring in the giant um, mansion. Hello? Let's We've uh, arrived. start over here in the uh, corner. Uh, I'm pretty sure I missed a few pieces, but uh, like I said earlier, I'm not trying to 100% in this game. I'll do that when I'm off camera and I play it again. Okay, then we're gonna search this whole first floor. Can't interact with nothing over there. Bitch, get the fuck out of my way. Can't open that door. Ugh, guess we're going upstairs now. Yep, I can sprint. I forgot I could do that. What's this? Piece of paper. Huh. <laughs> Even I could play this. Don't tell me you can have me playing the piano. Uh, search these drawers. Nope. You would think I can pick up one of them trinkets since that's a chessboard. Okay, let's speed it up, shall we? Can't go through that door. Can't interact with anything over here. What about this painting? So one creepy ass painting. Okay, doorknob highlighted. I can use this. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. Well, someone's definitely here if there's a fire burning. Got Bruno Stanford the third, business concierge. If I said Looking that right. Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. Okay. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? Connoisseur, that's how you say that. about business? Yuck. All right, let's do some more exploring in this room. Wait, pick up. Look at a lengthy note. You might have to pause the video because I am a fast reader. If you want to see what it's all saying. Okay, that's enough hey, of that. I think I figured out why there's no one here. 
What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. See if there's anything Maybe. over here. There's play? the piano. Um, a little. Okay, we dropping the beat. Let's do Steel Dre. <laughs> oh shit! <sighs> Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. Then we'll get the trophy. Uh, chat. You've seen a real secret passage before? Uh, it's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors to allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege got chat of the rich, in this stolen game. from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. I this guess that's all the chat. Freaking me out. Well, I have a bad feeling it's about weird, going down here. Right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one. Last time you. I went down somewhere, I got attacked yeah. by a guy in a mask. A little odd. Oh God, this is when some guy with a. Ch Please don't say Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. Oh, it's a creepy looking doll. Hmm. Found the relic. They must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. Ah, uh, it's one creepy looking doll. Okay, let's open this door. Hmm. This seems a bit more lively. It looks like I can interact with this door and plus this one around the corner. Hmm. Yep, this is where we started, so let's head back that way. Oh, I didn't even think to come through here. When we first arrived, that's crazy. Okay, let's go through the door. Yep, there's somebody there. Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hi. Hopefully he won't try to kill us. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> or they try to kill yeah, me. Yeah, um, same. I am so sorry, where are my manners? My name is Stan, and you would be? Maddie. Maddie, beautiful name, short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison yeah, this guy's a weirdo. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Oh boy, trying to shoot a shot. Uh... What do I want to go with? I'm going to say... I'm going to go with the interested one. Stan, that... Wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your beck and call. But only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am oh boy, I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh oh, okay. Sure. Bruno Stanford the third. At your back end call, only to call me Stan. Right. Sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <sighs> wow, I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon? Transcend it. Blood on the brain? Mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are yeah. the quintessential counter- This guy's giving me serial killer vibes. Icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait. Didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. No, I know assistant, me. homeboy. Wait, 
Should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host okay. has left something out for us. Let's check this out right here. We got what do you a, do, Stan? It's like an old book. Oh, I won't bore you with all the details. The Epic of the G G it Gilgamesh, sorry. Fast cars and... Oh, trading. I can open it, okay. But nothing legal. Obviously. Oh, obviously. A uh, bit of light bedtime reading. Okay, enough of that. Let's walk around some more. What else is there to interact with? This right here? I like how the ob objects are highlighted. Huh. Murder Mill. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Mm. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Hmm. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. I... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. The CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. Yeah, you're a real fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Huh. Murder Mill. That was chapter one in this game. That's what we were reading, the murder mill. Uh-oh, that don't sound good. Is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> and we're being joined by somebody, I see. Ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, we'll try it up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, She ain't playing too. about her name. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Interesting name. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Uh, it better not be a Cosby cocktail, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Sure, yeah. I'll just have whatever Stan's having. Of course. And you? No, thanks. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. <laughs> oh, really, wow. 
Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Your drink. Thanks. You okay? Yeah, no, it's... it's nothing. <laughs> Something right. Augustine, I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but... I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there... Uh, sorry, the film, I had to take a quick break. camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur. Allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. I... One dude, three females. What could possibly go wrong? I never knew what it was from. I'm surprised he ain't trying to smash nothing. <laughs> you told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course. Ms. Castle. It's getting interesting now. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. Mm. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Alrighty, it's uh, the trigger trade here. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, this game is definitely picking up. Uh, I'm definitely loving it so far. You'll definitely see more of it. Uh, do me this huge favor. If you enjoyed the view, please thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, you know the routine. I'll be seeing you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures. Peace.